Hey family, it's your girl Lady D here and I'm back at you with another how-to video. Today we're going to be making mozzarella corn dogs. Yes, that's what we're doing, mozzarella corn dogs. So uh, let's get to it. You know those corn dogs, Korean corn dogs with the mozzarella cheese at the end of the corn dog and then hot, half hot dog, half mozzarella cheese. Let's do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, you're gonna need um First we're gonna start off by making our batter and for that we're going to need flour So we're gonna need us a large bowl You need a large bowl you're gonna use one cup Plus two tablespoons of all-purpose flour So the ingredients for the uh, batter will be all-purpose flour, salt, sugar, bacon powder, one egg, and milk. So it's one cup plus two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Let me get some of this flour off my stem. Okay. That's in our larger bowl. One cup plus two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of sugar, Two teaspoons of baking powder. Whisk that together. I'll leave a little well in the middle. Set that to the side. And for our wet ingredients, we're gonna need <clears throat> one egg and three fourths cup of milk. One egg, three fourths cup of milk. Whisk that together in a separate bowl. Up. Get that incorporated. And pour that in the middle of the 
mixture. I'm just going to whisk that in together till it's smooth. It's not too thin or not too thick. If it's too thin, we're gonna add a little more flour. But I think it's just right. <laughs> Nice and smooth. Get out your lumps, flower balls. Now that that's made, you're just going to put this in the refrigerator while we prepare our hot dogs for battering. And in the meantime, I'm going to turn down the television, so I'll be right back. Okay, family, what we're going to do now, we're just going to prepare our hot dogs and our cheese. Uh, for frying so I have my shish kebab skewers or whatever type of sticks you want to use to prepare your corn dogs then soaking for at least 30 minutes in water so they won't burn when I put them in the hot oil to fry so I have those here I'm gonna make some hot dogs, whatever kind of hot dogs you like. And my mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna cut my hot dogs in half. Or you can leave them whole if you like. Or however much hot dog you want on yours. I don't want much hot dog on mine. So I'm gonna cut them in half. Or what I think will be half. Same with my cheese. I know I want more cheese on the end than I want hot dogs. So. <clears throat> use whatever mozzarella cheese you like. I have also used uh, the slices and made that work as well. Hot dog is a base for how thick it should be. And I might be able to get three out of those. I may make six out of this. And like three, perfect three hot dogs. <laughs> Not the best knife. have to decide how how um long you want your cheese to be if you want it to be about the same as your hot dog or a little more than your long you know just a tad bit long I think I want more cheese like I say though so I'm gonna do nine more than the length Reason you eat 
there for that cheese, for that cheese. And then, like I say, I got these extra long skewers, so I know I'm going to have to cut them. And you just want to insert your hot dog, the skewer in the middle of the hot dog half. Okay. There you Hope it come up through the middle, or near the middle. <laughs> and you put on your cheese. Hoping to do the same thing. Almost getting a little almost. You don't want the stick to poke through the end because you don't want to poke yourself in the mouth with the stick. But that's how it's going to look. And like I said, then I'm going to cut mine because it's uh, with it being so long, it's kind of not stable. And you don't want that. You want it sturdy. So I'm going to cut them. I'm going to show you one more. Just put the hot dog on there. Well, you can make all cheese if you don't want the hot dog. Make you some, yeah, some mozzarella stick dogs. <laughs> make you some mozzarella stick. No, that wasn't it, was it? <laughs> you need to do the wrong part. Okay, I'm going to prepare the rest of these off camera. And then I'll come back and we'll get to the next step. Getting these babies all battered up to fry. I'll be back. Okay, family, I am back. I have prepared my mozzarella dogs. So what we're going to do now that we got those all done and ready for frying. I got my cast iron skillet on the stove. Got it uh, about halfway. Well, maybe, yeah, I'm about to say about halfway full of uh, vegetable oil for frying. Use whatever type of oil to fry yours in that you like. When I'm going to, um, let's take my dog and kind of lightly roll it around in a little flour. I found that the flour kind of helps the batter stick a little bit better. Got my panko breadcrumbs. Cause after we dip them in the batter, we're gonna roll them around in the breadcrumbs. A little bit extra crunchiness or crispiness. That's how we gonna do that. I got some plain hot dogs on the stick too because I told you we're going to be making the uh, fry dogs, the corn dogs covered with the uh, french fry. Okay, I'm going to just set that to the side for a minute. Got my batter back out. Got me a tall glass. I'm going to pour my batter in the glass so I can just dip my corn dogs down in there. Scrape the bottom of the bowl. I'm gonna fill this glass up and I'll be right back. Get me something to get the bottom, the rest of the off the bottom. Okay, I'm back. I got my batter in my cup, my glass. And what we're gonna do now is just take our mozzarella dog, stick it down in our batter. And coat it all the way around. Pull it out. 
Let the excess drip off. And we're gonna roll it around in our panko. And we club it on all sides. Get them all battered up and cover it in the paint coat. Meet you over at the fryer. Okay, family, I'm back. I'm at the stove. Got our vegetable oil heating and our cast iron skillet. Now we're just going to drop our corn dogs into the grease. dish with some sugar on it because it's supposed to coat these in sugar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one in a good light brown or golden brown. Take them off, put them on the paper towel for a minute.
see fry up, but I'm going to be right back. Okay, family, our mozzarella dolls are out of the grease. And I have rolled them around in the sugar. And I'm going to dress them. And we're going to try them out. The trend is uh, for ketchup and mustard to go on top of it. Or if you want spicy mustard, it's supposed to be uh, ketchup and sriracha. So, let's see, let's see. Put some ketchup and mustard on it. I took it off with her. What's going in? Come on, catch up now. Catch up. Oh, it's so good. Mm, mm, mm. 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 And keep in mind that I'm taping and this has gotten a little cold. So just imagine the pool and how delicious it is. It delicious it is when it first comes out of the fryer. And they're pulling on that cheese. You don't want it too hot out the fryer though. <laughs> That's it. Mushrooms, dog. Lady D style delicious. Give this recipe a try. Thumbs up this video. Leave me a comment down below. <laughs> For next video. Remember, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe at this time. Make yourself a member of this family. I love to have you. Till next time, next video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.